Hi guys, Squirrel here, and uh, you're probably wondering why you're looking at a very cheap white Scania R360. Well, let me explain. Okay, so the end of the last video, I drove a wonderful Kenworth W900L, and uh, that was very, very cool, very interesting, and I, I'm sure you guys enjoyed the video. I had lots of good feedback about that. Unfortunately, when I buy that kind of truck, it costs the best part of a hundred grand out of my trucking account, and trucking nuts is not that rich. So what I've had to do, I've had to load in the save game just before I bought that truck so that I've now got a quarter of a million pounds in the bank and I can go and buy a different truck. So basically that's what I'm going to do. Now then, what truck am I going to drive today? That's the question. Well, if we visit the Majestic dealer, otherwise known as Mercedes-Benz, because they don't have a license yet, well rather SCS doesn't have a license to use Mercedes-Benz name, so they've had to go for Majestic. I don't know why. I, I can't imagine why everybody else has signed up and Mercedes-Benz hasn't. Who knows? But anyway, if we pop down to their dealer, we should see a rogue truck in the mix, and that's the one we're going to go for. Let's skip left a little bit. These are essentially Mercedes-Benz model trucks. But look at the badge. It's not the usual three-pointed logo. And there it is. There it is, the Kenworth K100. Actually, I think this is a really, really nice looking truck. It's got a lot of character. It's tidy with a lot of chrome and black, but it's got a lot of character. Let's go through some of the customization. We'll have a look at the inside in a second. But can you see that? It's got a really nice shine to it. Love the chrome wheels. Absolutely adore these. Look at the exhaust manifolds, are wonderful. Really nice truck. Completely flat at the front, totally unlike the Kenworth that we drove, or rather I drove, in my last video with a huge front end and you couldn't see where the hell the front was and he ended up hitting a van if you remember. But no, I like this. This has been well modelled. No upgrades to the cabin, no upgrades to the chassis, however there is, look at this! 750 brake horsepower engine, three and a half thousand newton meters of torque. I mean, come on. I'd be able to pull a house along the ground with that. Fantastic engine. Transmission, same story. Get myself an OptiCruise 905R 14 speed gearbox. Sounds good to me, people. And the inside, what does the inside look like? Well, again, I've never seen the inside of one of these trucks. I don't know how authentic this colouring is. This looks like a, a real tan leather steering wheel. But this this kind of this a little bit too bright for my taste, I have to admit. But whether it actually is like that in real life, I don't know. Whether it's just been pimped up a little bit. If you guys drive Kenworth or you've driven a Kenworth or your dad's owned a Kenworth, you'll probably be able to tell me. Look at this, it's <laughs> proper pimping. Radios, fan, obviously doesn't have air conditioning, we've got a fan in here. So many switches, what on earth are all these for? Can't quite see in the back yet. This is an enormous section of, of, of quilted covering. I would have thought this area here could be better used myself. You know, you could have recessed places in here, lots of spaces for drinks and other bits and pieces. As it stands, it kind of feels like a waste of space to me. <clears throat> but anyway, there's nothing nothing we can upgrade. On the outside, we're, uh, we're limited to some colours here. Most of them are a little bit drab. And I have to say, just going through these colours, the only two that appeal to me are the red. And the red does look good, I have to admit. Red and black is never a mistake, is it? It's, it's, it's the Dracula formula. Even Dracula knew that red and black was a good idea. That, no way. Or you've got the black with the red interior. And I'll be honest with you, this is the look that I want. Now you may think differently. You may prefer the red or one of these other colours, but I think that's the colour for me. In terms of accessories, there aren't any other mirrors. Now we can go for other wheels here. But again, I'll be honest with you, I, I really like the way 
the, the, the choice of wheels by, by stock default, these standard wheels, I think look wonderful. Um, and I'm going to keep them because they look amazing. Quite happy to do that. There doesn't appear to be anything I can upgrade on the inside either. There are no accessory points. There's only these mirrors and the mirrors can't be changed. So I think all in all we're going to go with a 750 engine, 14 speed gearbox. And we are going to trade in. Trading value of my crappy little truck is only 50k. So I'm going to have to pay 92. So I'm going to need a pretty decent job to get some money back. But let's go for that. Congratulations on purchasing your Kenworth K100 from the Majestic Store. Well, I'm not entirely sure how that happened. <laughs> if you want to play this truck, by the way, at the end of this video, check the video description. There's a link to the mod in there. But as I discovered, uh, look at that logo. Look at Kenworth down the side there. It looks fantastic. Let's have a look at the outside properly now. Yeah, I'm, I really like this. Properly nice. Now, in terms of the engine noise, I'm not a driver of Majestic Trucks, so I don't know if... I don't know if that's a stock engine sound. Or whether this guy's actually put his own sound in. If I had to guess, I would suggest that that was the Majestic engine and not uh, a custom engine noise. But I could be wrong, could be wrong about that. Okay, let's have a look at where we are. We've got 10 hours rest. Okay, that's fine. We're now fully fueled up. Let's have a look at the jobs we've got going out of here. Uh, I have got some trailer mods installed, so we should see some weird and wonderful wacky things appearing. We have got oversized we could take. We've also got this one. We've done that one before. See, let's just see if, have a flick through and see what kind of jobs we've got on the go at the moment. You get a feel for the kind of jobs that I've got. Uh, tra sorry, trailer mods that I've got, I should say. There is one which I'm hoping will pop up. Um, I've not seen it so far. Basically, it's a... A cement mixer <laughs> and I think the cement mixer spins on the back I'd love to do that for you guys what's this one that's different you can see I've got the sports car still in there no it's not putting in an appearance this game can be a little bit random like that well obviously it randomly generates the jobs but you get you know you put a mod in there's no guarantee that you'll be able to pick it up for a while that's, that's slightly annoying wow that is the world's shortest job look at that Unbelievable. Actually, have I been to Stuttgart? I kind of get the feeling I've not been to Stuttgart. I'm te <laughs> severely tempted to pick that job up. Expires in 31 minutes. You know what? Let's go and make it a quick nine grand. That'll be the opportunity to uh, test this truck out. Get used to it. And 10 grand and maybe we'll get a decent job. What's the braking like? I thought the game had crashed then. It froze and I thought we were going down. Thankfully. <laughs> thankfully it didn't. I've not actually looked in the back properly yet. Oh, the indicator sounds have been changed. Unless that's the, again, unless that's the majestic. I don't drive majestic trucks, so I have. Oh, I think I've just missed my spot. I'm supposed to be in there. Don't mind me. Warning: Do not attempt this. Uh oh, I've got the reverse bug. No! Why have I got the reverse bug? Have you? Oh, this is going to cause a problem, isn't it? So what I'm going to have to do, reverse up against this wall. This is where the reverse sticks. Right, now we should be able to go forward. There you go. 
that's going to cause problems. Now I have got realistic physics turned off and normally that only happens when you have it turned on. Hmm. I wonder what that's conflicting with. Where's the trailer? Whoa, the trailer's all the way down there. I've n <laughs> I was slightly confused, I was looking here, like... Where's the trailer? I've managed to fix my truck IR problem, by the way. I basically seated my truck IR, setting my truck IR a lot more to the left of my monitor so that it looks to my left side properly. Um, but yeah, you do have to get the positioning right. Let's take a slightly wider swing here. Yeah, I don't know what th that reversing problem I've had before when I've had realistic physics on the run, but never had it. As you can see, I can't actually stop reversing now, so I'm going to have to press the T key and hope that fixes it. Nope, I can't stop reversing. He said, my truck's just reversing into the trailer and it will not stop. There we go. Good grief. Because the truck's still moving, it won't let me... There we go. Dear me. You've probably come across this bug before. But like I say, it was realistic physics not loading last. I've, I haven't got it loaded this time, so this must be a bug. Or rather a conflict with something else. Anyway, let's have a look at the... Stop the engine here. There we go. Okay, so this is the trailer we're taking. Again, massive industrial part. Quite suits the truck, actually. You'd expect a 700 brake truck like this to be pulling something massive like this one. I think we're going to have to whack the beacon on. Although we only have one beacon. We don't appear to have one on the rear, I don't think. Oh, yes, we do. We do have one. Look at that. Cool. We haven't got very long to deliver this, so we better get on with it. Whatever I do, I'm going to have to be very, very careful not to reverse the truck. <laughs> we have to reverse. I need to find out what's conflicting with the mod, but that would ins that would mean essentially um, going through a lot of mods and disabling them to test it out. It could be one of the other trailers. It's unlikely though, and I don't have any other physics stuff loaded, so. I am slightly surprised by this, I'll be honest with you. But the problem is, as soon as I start reversing, I have to find a solid object to stop up against, otherwise it, the, the truck won't physically stop. I didn't have any, any uh, physics problems last time with the other Kenworth. So I am surprised I've got physics problems this time, to be honest with you. But still, never mind. Uh, do bear that in mind if you want to try this truck. You may have that reversing bug. This thing doesn't have any problems whatsoever pulling this weight. It's incredible. I've just noticed the um, on the dashboard there, next to the GPS, I've just noticed that little... looks like a... Why is that? actually. It says 3 miles, 23 degrees. And it's basically got a built-in compass of sorts. Quite like the indicator noises. What's the horn like? Oh wow. That's awful. That's really bad. That's, that's pretty much worse than any of the Scania ones? Let's try it from the outside. Seriously, I, I've i heard car horns louder than that. Look at the time of delivery, 70, oh no, estimate, whoops, estimated 1747. 75 mile journey, it's actually a little bit bigger than it looked. On the map it just looked like we were going a quarter of an inch, but... It's not not too bad. That's something near enough London to Birmingham in the UK, approximately. If you're in the north of London, that is. 
but on Germany of course it just looked like a little trip across almost across the garden quite empty roads. Now I have seen a a mod that modifies the, the how was it called? It's called something like the improved traffic mod I think it was called and what it purports to do is put a lot more cars onto the road which I'm not sure if I want that or not to be honest I mean I wouldn't mind having more traffic on the road if the traffic behaved a lot more sensibly. Now I don't think it modifies the logic of the AI so much, but it does allow them to go faster. And it does... Um, wow, they're moving, aren't they? It does exchange a lot of... It makes sure that the trucks and trailers that you see use a lot of the trucks and trailers that are available in the game properly. So obviously they've... I'm not entirely sure how it's working. Maybe it's, it's looking at the entire collection of trucks and rather than removing some because perhaps you're not high enough level, I'm not sure. I'll tell you what I do like about this. I like the mirror in this truck. That is a good, good mirror. Remember in the Kenworth, the W900 Kenworth, I I was saying that it was very difficult to see anything in the mirrors I couldn't see because it was such a kind of a fisheye wide angle lens. I couldn't see, well, very much to be honest. Uh, these the mirrors on this truck seem to be an awful lot better and they give you a really good view of the road particularly um, the orientation of them they're not round they're, they're rectangular in portrait mode um, now somebody a few people commented saying you can adjust the mirror settings you can adjust the mirror in the settings page and I had a look and it's true you can adjust the mirror in the settings page however it doesn't let you control the the field of view so it doesn't let you narrow down the mirror and, and make it from a wide angle to quite a narrow field the only thing it gives you effectively is the distance that it draws at so I had to play around with it if you want to find it you need to go to video settings and then into advanced you need to click on the advanced tab to see it you'll get a whole bunch of stuff there and one of them is the mirror distance Let's be careful here in case there's any traffic coming. This thing is going to clip under this bridge. Watch this. Look at that. <laughs> Straight through. <laughs> he wasn't going to bother waiting, was he? Um, so, yeah, you can adjust it. Now, I sat in the outside of a garage and adjusted the settings just to see what it would do. And when I put it on low, I could see some flags in the distance but when I put it on high I could see the flags and then I could see a lot of stuff behind it look at those wipers so all those mirror settings do is control how far um, it renders objects if you like when you look in the mirror it's a view distance thing rather than a field of view if, if you understand what I mean by that uh, this is where I've totally forgot my uh, light settings again I believe it's there we go sorry I uh, totally forgot which way I'd, I've mapped my hat I did tell you in the last video I'd have a problem remembering that because I have remapped some of my buttons from my last video and still learning I'm afraid but basically I've got left and right on the thumb button are lights now so yeah that's right it was all logical when I set it up I just had to remember the logic I applied if that makes any sense. The weather's gone to shit, I'm afraid. Uh, so I think what we're going to do, I don't actually need to rest when I get into this town, but I think that's what we're going to do. So far this truck is driving quite nicely. It's, it pulls extremely well, even from a standing start. Its handling is pretty decent. The view is actually really good. It's a well-designed truck. It's kind of got this vintage look kind of retro vintage look slightly pimped it's got this kind of vintage retro slightly pimped look but it's been thought out you know it's not just been thrown together you get a lot of a lot of glass to look out of visibility of course is very very important and this truck has visibility in spades and that 
vertical front end means you know you know that the front of the truck is at the end of your windshield which is good so yeah I'd be quite happy to drive one of these things and I do like the mirrors as well well it looks like we're nearly here um, like I say the weather's gone to shit there isn't a town here this is outside of the town so there does appear to be a rest stop here though and given that it's coming into night time what I might do deliver this and then rest and it should put us uh, early hours in the morning and that's good because that means we get a full day a full day of daylight trucking we've got a quarry delivery for some industrial parts, I can't imagine where they're going to put this thing just checking we're not clipping the walls there Where's the delivery spot? Down this hill. I so would love to see people on this game. On this game, you hardly see any pedestrians at all. I kind of understand why they didn't put them in because I'm pretty certain a lot of people would spend most of the time playing truck Mageddon, where they <laughs> just get the truck and go around flattening pedestrians and anybody they can see. Well, you know, that shouldn't stop you from putting it in the game because people like to do those kinds of psychotic things I just thought we we're gonna have a problem reversing this a big problem reversing this because I have nothing to stop reversing with now is it possible to go forward into this at all I'm going to try I'm gonna try going round the back of this thing might turn around up there if I can if I can't then I might just give up and press enter because uh, you know reversing this is gonna be a a mitigated disaster without being able to stop reversing. Let's have a look where we are. Yeah, I can't realistically, I can't realistically turn that. Let's just deliver it. Skip all the faff. All right, easiest nine and a half grand ever. Now, where's the rest spot? That's the question. It appears it's up here, but I've got a feeling it, it we can't get to it. But I'm going to go this way anyway, just to find out. Seems to be down this road here. Or maybe we can get to it. Wow, this is a steep slope. Okay, there's a parking bay right here. Cool. Alright, we're going to sleep in the back of the truck, which looks quite nice. I can't see any more than that. Um, in the piss pouring rain, in a quarry. Fair enough. Okay. It's now morning, well, early morning, 2.51am in the middle of a quarry. Let's have a look at where we're going to go next. We need to pick up a nice job. Hopefully it's going to be a little bit more generous this time. Now we could go to any of these places to pick up a job. Let's see what's here. That's utterly dull. What's that town there? There it is! The cement mixer! Oh, can I get there in time? It expires in an hour. Oh no, I don't think I can get there in an hour. I've got to go like a bat out of hell now. I doubt I can make it. Oh, that's such a shame. This is so dark. Which was which way out? This way. It's not exactly clearly signposted. In the middle of the dark, I can't see where the hell the exit is. Oh, I'm so annoyed. I, I really don't think I can make it in an hour. Two fifty-three. We'll see. 
I'm going to give it my best shot. Certainly got the engine for it. It just depends how far away the job is now. What time did I start? About 2.50 maybe? I'm going to have to drive like a crazy man. Crazy trucker going for the cement mixer. I need some luck with the traffic. That could have gone horribly wrong, but it worked out okay. Same with this. I told you I was going to drive like a madman. Don't ever drive a truck like this. <laughs> Outside of a bend, come on. So, if I'm not talking very much, it's because I'm concentrating heavily on not crashing this truck. Oh, this is this is. I'm being very lucky here because this is suicidal. This really is suicidal. How far away is this? I don't even know if I can make it. It's it's not just down the road, it's Oh no, I got stuck behind a coach. Don't turn, go straight on mate. Good, ah, yes. Good idea, good idea. How far away? I I'm not gonna make it, I just I've given it a best shot, but this is just um, too far. I could get lucky, I mean, you never know. We could end up making it on time, or another cement mixer job just happens to appear. I'm looking in the mirrors and I don't see anything right now. It's so black in those mirrors. Yeah, we'll just have to take that speeding offence on the chin, because I am in fact speeding heavily. We've cut through just, what, about half an hour? I wish I knew if it was halfway or not. 78 miles per hour, doing almost 80 miles per hour now. So this is a... Remember, I haven't got a speed limiter in. Or a speed unlimiter. So I'm guessing he's implemented the real speed limit of the truck. Which is knocking on the door of 80. The last one, the, the Kenworth W900 did the same thing. Oh, this is just so far. If we were getting off about now, then I'd say we might make it, but... Look at the mirrors, look, just nothing. Can't see anything. Three forty-nine. yeah. It's expired, I'm pretty certain now it's expired. Oh well. It was a good try. We'll see what was available. Let's bring up the map in a second, have a look what we've got. Look at this, white van, ma white van men. That's hard to say. Looks like we're double back in. Let's get in this lane here. Here, I think. Yep. Essentially, I'm looking in the mirrors, and if I see blackness, I'm assuming that it's safe, because I'm working on the assumption that if there was a vehicle there, I'd be able to see the headlights. But mostly, it's just blackness. Come straight on. At last, the sun is starting to rise. 4.10am now. I didn't have an hope in hell's chance of getting this thing. I just realised the GPS is actually telling me what time I'm going to get there. <laughs> Derp. It's saying I'll be there at 4.30. So yeah, I already knew. I, I could have already said it. I, I was never going to make this job. I didn't think to look, to be honest. Can you notice down the left here, the barriers? Can you see those yellow strip lights? Surely you can see that. Because in my last video, I had the dashes... 
the kind of yellow dashes installed or yellow dots this time I've gone for the solid yellow line um, that's a crash barrier mod and some people said they couldn't see the dots so I thought I know what I'll do, I'll put the solid colours on and see if you can see that Stuttgart, now hopefully there is a job in Stuttgart that I can I can take that's fun and interesting, the last set weren't very interesting at all hey look at the mirrors, look at the crash barriers in the mirrors you see that, that's quite cool so now I've got a speeding ticket and no job to show for it, which is a bit of a shame. Okay, before we go any further, I am going to check the jobs. No, we're not lucky. That's a shame. Oh, I almost got it. I almost got the cement mixer. It wasn't to be. Well, none of these are particularly appealing at all, are they? You know what I'm going to do? I'm tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to go into a rest stop and take a chance. I'm going to go and rest and see if I can get an interesting load to take somewhere, some interesting cargo. I think we can uh, rest in here. Which dealership's this? Is it a Volvo? Yeah, it's a Volvo. Don't mind us parking our truck on your, <laughs> on your front. Right. It's the afternoon now, unfortunately, but hopefully we've got some more jobs. Uh, I've got a change. I've definitely got a change. Plastic granules. That's a short run to a place I've never been. Strasbourg. I've not been there. That's a new place. I think we'll take... Oh, hang on. What's this? That looks a lot more fun. Let's take that. That looks hilarious. And you know what, I've just realised I'm going to have to reverse. Oh well. We're going to have to reverse it into the building. Having parked on the Volvo dealership front. I'm now <laughs> reversed into the dealership. They can send me the bill. Right, this looks like a fun delivery actually. It is a massive, one of those kind of, um, it's either a digger or a bulldozer, I didn't actually check. I think it's a digger that they're using quarries to lift huge amounts of earth and put them in the back of trailers. Actually that's something this game doesn't have thinking about it. It doesn't have the huge trailer. You know what would be cool? Is if they allowed you to take a huge empty trailer to a quarry then you had to wait there while they filled it up and then you take the earth to somewhere else you know it could be that it's a, a mine or something and you have to take the the raw stuff to be refined to the refinery they don't have that concept in the game right where is it here we go take the job I believe that's it on the no it's over there that was the other one wasn't it this is the one look at this Yeah, it's a... is that a bucket on the front? No, or is it a bulldozer? It's a cat. I'll check it in a sec. Let's go through reversing fun first. Now to reverse into it. Let it clip on the model. There we go. Got it. There's a technique to that. <laughs> a technique to getting around broken physics. 
Okay, let's pull up over here and have a look at this. Because I think this looks quite cool. Whoa. Yeah, that's basically an earth pusher, isn't it? Got a tracks on that. A D10T. That is massive. That looks quite good. This this truck pulling that looks pretty cool, I have to admit. To see where we're going. Come on, Satnav. Thank you. So it's one in the afternoon. We're estimated to be there on Sunday half past six, so it should be a full daylight drive. So I'll wait and let's have another look while we're at the lights. Yeah, I like this actually. I really like I actually fall in love with this truck actually, bizarrely enough. There's just something about it, it's just got so much character. There's nothing, there's just nothing to dislike about this truck. Well, having said that, maybe the interior, I wouldn't have it quite so brightly coloured. But that's just personal taste. In terms of the character of the truck, it's all there, it's there in spades. You know, if you think about the normal sort of Renaults and man trucks and, you know, they're all a little bit bland compared to something like this. With that engine, this thing is awesome. So you guys are probably wondering where I'm going to go next um, in terms of the videos. We've just done uh, a Kenworth W900. Now we're on the Kenworth K100. So we've done some interesting Kenworths. Uh, there is a Peterbilt I could try. Now there's, <clears throat> there's two kinds of Peterbilt truck that I could try. There's the traditional one, um, the kind of 30 year old version I think. Um, or there's the more modern one. Um, I actually prefer the styling of the old truck <laughs> compared to the new one. <laughs> that sounds ridiculous, but the new one, the new style. I don't know if you've seen the new, the newish kind of Peterbilt, but it's so rounded and I don't know. There's just something almost characterless about it. It seems to have lost something. It's become modern, but at the same time, it's lost its soul. I, I don't know if you agree with that or not, but. It's, it's making me wonder which to try. Um, but I think what I might do is, is go for the modern one and show you what I mean and see how it drives. Maybe it drives really well. Maybe the old one doesn't drive so well. I don't know. But just on external appearances... What is that guy doing? Just based on external appearances, I prefer the, the older truck than the new one. I really would like you to move over. But no fucks given, pal. You are in a BMW after all. That's your rite of passage. But I think when I've done the modern Peterbilt, then I may do the old Peterbilt. And what I'd like to do then is probably move on to some of the more... the, the normal trucks in the game, but different manufacturers. Uh, obviously, you know, you guys know I love the Scania, but I think I need to try out some other trucks. And I think I would probably start with my second favourite truck, which would be a Volvo. Uh, and obviously the Volvos do powerful engines, which is obviously an attraction to a lot of people. Um, so we'll try the Volvo, and then we'll move on to something else, I think. Slow down, slow down, slow down. Too fast. Especially considering the load I've got. Looks cool in the mirror, doesn't it? I don't think that even clips on the bridge. I think that actually fits under the bridge properly. But I think we're about to go off down some B roads. I'm guessing we're going to a quarry. That would make sense. I think the game's got sort of categories of cargo and it, and it maps the categories to the delivery points so it says you know this kind of cargo should go to this kind of delivery point um, which makes sense that's how it should be done so this being a an industrial um, 
digger stroke excavator stroke you know well just heavy industrial part they're saying that needs to go to a quarry I'm guessing we're going to a quarry I'd be surprised if we ended up at a shopping center although it has been known when I took those aluminium those, well they weren't aluminium they were massive metal tubes and and it literally told me to take them to little like this supermarket <laughs> something went wrong here I think it was the mod the, whoever created the mod he created these aluminium tubes and he obviously told the game that the category of them was effectively food you know or something something like that something that you'd normally expect to go to a supermarket uh, so it's not it's not the developers fault it's the mod authors fault to be honest there goes some sports cars there's a balloon up there with a nice bridge that looks pretty cool Still 128 miles out, to be honest. I thought we were nearer. I don't know why. I think it's because we're on B roads. I kind of figured that we'd... On the final stages of the journey, but we're not. I reckon this engine can pull us past here. Yep. That was right. This thing pulls like a beast! I don't know how much weight this thing is, um, but I'm having no problems. Hilarious. Well, the problem with getting a powerful engine like this is it does make you somewhat impatient. What is that guy doing? He's going for it. Interesting, he made it as well. See, this doesn't make sense. Here I am in a truck with an enormous trailer overtaking a guy with no trailer whatsoever. Why is he going so slowly? Oh, let's talk about... That's what someone's going to talk about. The upcoming patch. The patch isn't ready yet. I think it's going to be 1.4. Uh, we're on 1.3.1 at the time of making this video. Um, they are working on a patch. And it, they're currently... They're currently 1.3.51, I think. So they're almost, you know, it seems to me like they're heading towards 1.4. So my guess at this stage is that when the when it comes out, it'll be called 1.4, but I could be wrong. However, that patch has some interesting stuff in it. So the, behind the scenes, they've been doing a lot of work on the graphics, uh, simplifying the models down, uh, making them so that they can load more efficiently without losing any kind of graphical quality just making the storage of the model a lot more efficient. But one of the things they've also done, and this is interesting, um, and this is going to break a lot of stuff, they've changed the way maps are stored, created and loaded. So effectively they've, they've taken the map of Europe and made it into segments almost. Now there's a couple of reasons that they've done that. One of the primary drivers behind it, though, is so that they can have people in their own team, I think, work on different segments of the map. So they could be, they could have a team working on, well, let's say, um, let's say France was one segment. They could have a team working on extending France, building more roads, more towns, uh, changing stuff in the map, fixing things, whilst another team is perhaps working on um, you know Germany although Germany is so big it's probably split up into more than one segment but what it does allow interest and this is where it gets interesting it does allow them to make for example a new segment for uh, Eastern Europe so they could go more east or they could bring out a segment for Scandinavia or mod authors could do the same thing so mod authors could um, modify they could release a mod that just changed France, just modified some stuff in France, or extended some stuff in France. And that allows you to kind of pull in um, mods of specific parts of the map, rather than, here's a map pack that changes, you know, here's a mod that changes the whole of the map, but actually doesn't change the whole of the map, it just changes some of it. That then clashes with another mod author, Whereas this way, you could have two mod authors write two mod packs that were independent of each other. The game would know that they're modifying different parts of the map. It also makes it more efficient for the game to load in. 
because it, you know it knows that I'm currently traveling along a certain part I'm about to break into a new segment so it can start loading that segment before I get there but all the other stuff it doesn't have to keep in memory it makes it more efficient so there are very good reasons to do it however I'm pretty certain pretty certain that this this release is it's coming out is going to break everybody's maps you know all the mods that you've got extending the maps and there are some nice uh, mods out there whether we'll be able to just unload them uh, just before the patch and everything will work fine or whether it's going to refuse to load your save game don't know honestly don't know but just be aware of it when the patch comes in the map mods will not work I don't think until they've been loaded back into the editor and saved in the new format that's my current understanding now the other thing is they did talk about you know they have been talking a while now about a DLC which has something like 18 new cities in it and a few months ago they were pricing that up but that seems to have gone very quiet so my question is is the is the um, is the reason for that that's four grand from Marianne that's nice is the reason for that because they've not released the map DLC because they need this kind of new feature in the game so in other words when they release the new 1.4 patch can they then release that DLC is that the reason for the hold up it would make some sense if that was the reason. I don't know how far we are away from being 1.4 patch released, but hopefully soon, because this game needs some new stuff. And they know that. They, they have blogged about it. They do realise that it has been a while since they've pushed out content. They've reassured us that they are working on the game. They're also working on other uh, driving projects, so they are spinning plates a little bit. But they need to get this patch out soon, I would think. I and mean, we're in we're kind of middle of May now. I would like to see that patch within a month, at the most before the end of June. And I would like to see the DLC released at the same time. Whether they're going to do it, whether it's practical, I don't know. But that's just what I would personally want. Being reasonable. If I was being unreasonable, I want the patch tomorrow. But I'm not, <laughs> not going to get it, am I? Uh, so being reasonable you know based on the fact they've blogged about this stuff and said it's not far off I'd like to think a month and I am looking forward to some more places to go to and I think they're going to bring out that new truck aren't they the new Volvo um, oh what's it called uh, they've got the Iveco Stralis truck of the year that's a new truck that's coming out I think I think they've got a new Volvo in the mix so maybe that'll come out in the patch or maybe that'll be the new DLC I don't know which way they're going to they're going to mix it but yeah, it's, it's exciting. Other news, somebody's working on a multiplayer for this thing. Now, this is where it gets really interesting because SCS have said that it's not possible to do a multiplayer. Whether there's any truth in that, I don't know. That's just, officially that's what they've said, but behind the scenes they might be working on a multiplayer, who knows? <laughs> But some guy is working on a mod that's, that brings multiplayer into this game. How the heck this is going to work, I don't know. But I think I read that on the 1st of June it goes into... Is it Alpha or Beta? Might be Beta, I think. And I'm going to keep my eye on it because I one half of me is sceptical. You know, I was in two minds about whether to mention this to you guys or not because, let's face it, we all want multiplayer in this game but at the same time I wouldn't like to be promised by anybody that, it, that they're working on a version of it and then it never get delivered that would really annoy me so I'm trying not to get too excited about that I hope they are working on a multiplayer and I hope it's possible and if it does get released then I'm going to try it and I'll help I'll help out and I'll give feedback about the bugs and the issues but one half of me right now is thinking that it ain't gonna happen and until somebody actually releases the down thing that's the kind of view I'm taking so I'm cautiously optimistic and I think you should be too we're now 11 10 miles away from delivery point uh, so this is good it's been a fully sm fairly smooth drive no major upsets nothing too difficult this truck has been 
apart from the reversing bug, apart from that, this truck has been wonderful to drive. I've really enjoyed it. Um, if any of you guys, having watched this video, go and try the, this thing out, and you don't have the reversing bug, let me know. And if you do have it, and you find out what, what's conflicting, please also let me know. I'll share it with everybody else. I'll uh, post it on my Facebook page. Um, again, guys, if you're watching and you're not, you know, you haven't been to my Facebook page, I suggest you, you pop over there and click like and follow me on Twitter because any information that I get about these games that I play, that's where I post it. I post it on Facebook and it comes out on Twitter as well. So I suggest you go and follow one or the other. But certainly Facebook is quite a good place to interact on my page. You know, I do see all the messages. It tells me about unread messages. I can reply directly. It's kind of a nice way of, of interacting Facebook. It's pretty good at that. Certainly for me, anyway. It's a problem with sending me messages on bloody YouTube and stuff. Is you just get mixed up with, with all kinds of crap, and you end up missing a lot of stuff. Uh, Facebook gives me the tools to do it. So if you've not been to facebookcom slash nuts then go over there and click like and leave a message but anyway if, if any of you guys do discover a fix to this reversing problem do let me know and I'll share it on Facebook and with that note I'm wondering how I'm going to park this thing again look up there I didn't notice that before can you see all, up there all those um, see those things I wish you could drive those now I don't know if I can come round the back of this thing let's just go third person a second um, I don't think I can. It's a shame. I think I have to cop out again and just go for the instant delivery, which is not something I like to do. I like to reverse it into place, but what can I do? I've got a problem here. There's just not enough room. I could try. I could try turning, but I really don't think I'm going to be able to do this without reversing. We'll give it a bash, just before we give up. I'm trying to get it so that I don't have to reverse at all. Looks like I can make the turn, but whether I can get it into position or not, I don't know. No, I can't. I can't do it. It's just too sharp. I, I, basically, I, I can make the turn, but now I have to reverse. So I've got the lineup ready, but as soon as I start reversing, I'll have a problem, so I'm going to have to deliver it. That's a shame. Stuttgart to Strasbourg, 200 miles more or less, 14,000, and it was a fun and simple drive. That's quite cool. Where are we at now? We've pulled a bit of money back. Started off on 250, spent the best part of, what was it, 90 or 100 on this truck, and I'm now back to 200. Um, love this truck, absolutely love it, um, it looks good, it looks so good, let's face it, this is a beautiful beast, bit annoyed about the reversing problem we've got, but I can't fault this truck, let's turn my engine off, it's wonderful. Uh, suggest you give it a try actually in black I assume I mean I can't think of any other colour that's going to look better than this but I'm afraid having dropped off that um, giant uh, bulldozer at the quarry we've run out of time if you want to try this don't forget I've got a reversing bug at the moment so if you do find out a solution let me know on the next video I shall probably go and f try the Peterbilt modern out and see how we get on with that but until then, it has been a pleasure. Take care, guys. And happy trucking.